What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be talking about Moonbeam, a little bit about it, some technical analysis, and also tokenomics and a price prediction towards the end. So make sure to stay tuned. And also, if you're interested in more of this content, do me a favor by minting me a subscription down below. And also, if you're interested in earning a 12.73% APY on a stable coin such as USDC, make sure to use the link in the description below and sign up to HODLNOT. It's a great service and I love it. I also made a video about it if you're interested in that. So let's get started about what is Moonbeam. So Moonbeam is an Ethereum compatible smart contract parachain on Polkadot. So first things first, we have to talk about parachains on Polkadot in order to start talking about this a little bit further. So parachains can be customized for any number of use cases and fed into the main blockchain called the Relay Chain, considered to be the heart of the Polkadot and Kusama networks. The Relay Chain is responsible for the network's shared security consensus and transaction settlements, and thus being integrated into the Relay Chain. All parachains benefit from the relay chain's base features. So if we're taking a look here, you can see that the relay chain is this, and then here you can see the parachain. So off of the relay chain, we have parachains in individual projects and also blockchains based off of that. Now, keep going a little bit further. How do parachains work? Well, Polkadot and Kusama are networks that allow both information and tokens to be transferred on them. Unlike Ethereum, where decentralized applications are created within the bounds set by its blockchain, Polkadot and Kusama allow developers to create their own independent blockchains. This means that each parachain can have its own parameters such as block times, transaction fees, governance mechanism, and mining rewards. Parachains benefit from the Polkadot and Kusama network security maintained by the relay chain, rather than having to rely on their own set of validator nodes. Instead, parachains are maintained by collateral nodes that store a full history for each parachain chain and aggregate parachain transaction data into blocks to be added to the relay chain. So that's a bit about that before we keep moving forward here. So I feel like it's really important to talk about Polkadot because they've built upon Polkadot. So let's also talk about why Moonbeam is building on Polkadot. So after extensive research, we decided to build Moonbeam using the substrate development framework and to deploy Moonbeam as a parachain on the Polkadot network. So let's talk about the substrate blockchain framework. Substrate is a good Good technical fit for Moonbeam. By building on top of this framework, we can leverage the extensive functionality that Substrate offers and includes out of the box, rather than building it ourselves. This includes peer-to-peer -peer networking, consensus mechanisms, governance functionality, an EVM implementation, and more. And by the way, an EVM is an Ethereum virtual machine. Overall, using Substrate will dramatically reduce the time and implementation effort needed to implement Moonbeam. Substrate allows a great degree of customization, which is necessary in order to achieve our Ethereum compatibility goals. The Polkadot network is also a good fit for Moonbeam. As a parachain on Polkadot, Moonbeam will be able to directly integrate with and move tokens between any other parachains and para threads on the network. We can also leverage any of the bridges that are independently built to connect non-Polkadot chains to Polkadot, including bridges to Ethereum. Polkadot's interlopability model uniquely supports Moonbeam's cross-chain integration goals and is a key enabling technology to support the Moonbeam vision. But perhaps just as important as the technical criteria above, we are impressed with the people on the Polkadot ecosystem. This includes individuals at Parity, the Web3 Foundation, and other projects in the ecosystem. We have built many valuable relationships and find the people to be both extremely talented and the kind of people we want to be around. So let's talk about the vision for Moonbeam. We believe in a multi-chain future with many chains and many users and assets on those chains. In this context, we've created Moonbeam, a smart contract platform that provides an Ethereum compatible environment for building decentralized applications. Moonbeam was designed to serve these new kinds of assets and users that exist across two or more chains. Existing smart contract platforms are designed to service the users and assets on a single specific chain. So this is actually the big thing about Moonbeam is that Moonbeam allows developers to shift existing workloads and logic to Moonbeam and extend the reach of their applications to new users and assets on other chains. So Moonbeam's cross-chain integration is a accomplished by becoming a parachain on the Polkadot network. The Polkadot network provides integration and connectivity between parachains that are connected to the network and to other non-Polkadot based chains, such as Ethereum and Bitcoin via bridges. So who benefits from Moonbeam? Well, existing Ethereum based projects. Projects that are struggling with cost, scalability challenges on Ethereum can use Moonbeam too. Move portions of their existing workloads and state off Ethereum layer one with minimal required charges, 
Implement a hybrid approach where applications live on both Ethereum and Moonbeam simultaneously. Extend their reach to the Polkadot network and other chains that are connected to Polkadot. And for Polkadot ecosystem projects, ecosystem projects that need smart contract functionality can use Moonbeam to augment their existing parachains and para threads, add new functionality that is needed but not included on the main Polkadot relay chain. For example, they could create a place where teams can crowdfund their projects, implement lock drops, and process other more complex financial transactions than are provided by base substrate functionality. Leverage the mature and extensive Ethereum development tool chain. So some of the key features and functionality, Moonbeam achieves these goals with the following key features. Decentralization and permissionless, providing a base requirement for censorship resistant and support for many existing and future dApp use cases, contains a full EVM implementation, enabling solidity-based smart contracts with minimal change and with expected execution results, implements Web3, it's compatible with the Substrate ecosystem toolset, native cross-chain integration, on-chain governance to allow stakeholders to quickly and forklessly evolve the base protocol according to developer and community needs. So really, if you're bullish on Polkadot and you're also bullish on Ethereum, then you should be bullish on Moonbeam because Moonbeam is pretty much a collaboration of the two. And that's why I'm actually really bullish on Moonbeam. And one of the reasons why I think Moonbeam is going to explode is because it's using a lot of the great features of Ethereum, but it's also combining a lot of great features of Polkadot as well. So I think that's really cool. And I think it's going to have a lot of use cases with many developers. So right now, Moonbeam is actually trading at the 87th spot. When we're taking a look at total market cap and is trading at $5.14. And it's been going up a lot in the past seven days. Now, if we take a look here, we can see that this is glimmer right now. So this is important to understand because when we're taking a look at the tokenomics here, we can see that there is glimmer moonbeam and we can see that there is moon river or move M O V R. Now, if we're taking a look at this, we can see that the development network moonbeam is a part of the relay chain of the polk of the polka dot network now glimmer is the utility token of the moonbeam network moonbeam's primary development on the polka dot network that serves as a developer friendly pair chain moonbeam completed its launch in january of 2022 so just recently whereas we have moon river which is a part of the kusama relay chain mover is the utility token of the moon river network moonbeam's kusama deployment that serves as a canary net to the moonbeam network as such the token utility behaviors on moon river mirror that of moon beam so let's take a little bit more at the tokenomics and then we're going to go over the price and then we'll get into the price prediction the utility token of the moon beam network let's go over you know what the utility of glimmer actually has so as a decentralized smart contract platform moon beam requires the glimmer token to function some of the use cases of the glimmer token on moon beam include supporting the gas metering of smart contract execution incentivizing colliders and powering the mechanics around the creation of a decentralized node infrastructure on which the platform can run, facilitating the on-chain governance mechanism, including proposing referenda, electing council members, voting, etc., paying for transaction fees on the network. So here's also a pretty cool infographic. We can see here the relay chain of Polkadot, and we can see here the project deployment as of Moonbeam, and we can see the easy connectivity and on-ramp to Ethereum. So that's pretty much one of the goals of Moonbeam. Now let's talk a little bit more about the glimmer token and also one thing that worries me the one thing that worries me is that there is an uncapped supply so an uncapped supply and the genesis token supply was 1 billion so as of right now you know places like coin market cap are you know reporting that there are 1 billion coins into supply now when we're taking a look at the actual website and what they say there we can see here that there is actually a five percent inflation and an uncapped supply so you know obviously a little bit of inflation is not really much of an issue especially if the demand is there and the demand is much greater than that then obviously there's going to be no issues but you know with that you know the only thing is is that there's also an uncapped supply but Hey, you can also argue that Ethereum also has an uncapped supply and Ethereum also has an inflation rate, but due to things like EIP 5059, uh, that's not really the case anymore. So, you know, who knows what's going to happen for the future of the Glimmer token. And, you know, I don't really think this is totally a bad thing, but it's definitely something to think about if you are planning on purchasing 
the Glimmer token. And you can actually stake the Glimmer token. And right now the current APR is 22.4%, which is actually really good. Now there's a little bit of technical intricacies when you are planning on doing that. And there's a couple of websites that you can actually look up and I will link in the description below on how you can actually do it. There's a couple of different guides, but yeah, you can earn a 22.4% APR, which is really good. Now, if we're taking a look at the price, you can go on the four hour time frame, and you can actually see here on the RSI that it's quite oversold right now because it's been pumping a lot. Now, if we take it on a lower frame, like the one hour, we can see that things definitely change. And yeah, right now it's looking very nice. Actually, it's been trending upward very, very well. Ever since March 28th, there was actually a really big pop off here. And that's been due to a lot of different things that are happening on Moonbeam in the development there. And right now, this small pump here was a 28% jump. And if we're taking a look at this one starting in April, uh, actually April 1st, there was this pop off here to that all time high that it reached, that was an 82% pop. Now Moonbeam was actually much higher in the past here and I can't really get the full data on how much it actually was, but it was greater than $14. And if you actually take a look at CoinMarketCap and you look at the all-time high, you can see that on CoinMarketCap, they're reporting an all-time high, at least in the past year, of $437. So that's quite interesting uh, to see that it's fallen off since then quite a lot. But right now it's actually an active project as of this year. So I think new things are going to happen for the Glimmer token. And I think a lot of people are going to continue buying and personally i think that the price of glimmer is going to go up now let's talk about the price prediction and let's just compare if moonbeam had the same market cap as of bitcoin right now then that would put the price of one glimmer to be four thousand two hundred dollars or an upside of 817x so i mentioned that moonbeam is at the 87th spot right now and given the utility where do you think you know moonbeam could go do you think it could go you know before harmony one do you think it could go after clayton do you think it could go before luna well personally i think that glimmer can actually go to the 50th position and i think that it's not necessarily going to hit the 50th position anytime soon but I definitely think it could be there. And if not, that it doesn't just happen to fall into the 50th position and that the rank says the 50th position, I at least think that it is going to have a similar market cap as of the 50th position right now, which right now it happens to be 8coin or Aave, which is a $3.2 billion market cap. That would put the potential price to be at $15.57 or a potential upside of 203%. Now going with that, that would either be at the 50th spot right now so if it happened you just get to that position or if the entire market cap pumps and every single other altcoin pumps then i think it would slide into a spot of a 3.2 billion dollar market cap so that's just personally my thoughts of where it could go given the utility of it and personally i think that it, it may take a little while to get to that position but i'm definitely bullish on moonbeam let me know what you guys have to think in the comment section down below and as always guys i'll see you in the next one